Hey guys, and welcome to the last box opening in this series of three. This is the artist I was telling you about. Her name is Poppin Altner. That's her uh, artist name on on YouTube. I will definitely put it in the description. And what she does is she strips dolls down and repaints them. She's amazing. And I was so excited to actually win one of her auctions. So that's this baby and definitely have little miss I think we decided on Isabella by this point sitting over there waiting to come but I'm gonna tear right into this I've uh, I've been waiting for this literally for almost two months guys um and that's because she's come she's out of Belgium and believe me if you're into this kind of art definitely need to check out her channel so I'm trying to get into this box <laughs> one-handedly. I'm so excited. I saw it on my door and I was like freaking out like yes. And I was acting like Santa Claus had came almost. But yeah, um, I'm not even exactly sure how she's going to be wrapped. It is the Moana doll, um, the Moana head. Um, she has done Jasmine. She has done Eleven from Stranger Things. She has done The Professor on <laughs> on Harry Potter. And I know a whole bunch of Harry Potter fans are like, Oh my god, I don't know who did. I really don't know their names, guys. I truly apologize, but I did want to drop some of her work. She has done two of the characters from, um, gosh. My brain is having one of those moments. Two of the characters from the new um, Enchanto. She 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 has done both the sisters, and she her intention is to do I believe the 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 grandmother, but I'm not. I'm, don't hold me to that because I'm not exactly sure. Um, she usually rotates between. I guarantee you, like I said, if you're into painting videos and you're into um, seeing dolls like get changed or what have you and changed out completely, you would definitely love her show. And like I said, I went on eBay. I have tried so many times to win one of her creations and finally won one. And she is tucked in her the box that she came in so she's safe and here she is guys oh my goodness oh my goodness I can't I can't she's she is so I'm pretty sure the, the fact that she's in the box is not doing her justice but um just to give you a little background the she was this doll was stripped of her paint and repainted so this is her repainted work and she put her in the box so i have all her original uh accessories that came with the box that's kind of cool um definitely gonna have to make sure to keep my little grand girls peter paws off of this because this is actually a work of art guys like I feel like a collector. <sighs> I can't get to her. The box is being me. Okay. Okay. There we go. Look at that face. Look at those eyes, guys. Oh, they're so pretty. They're so enchanting. Um, yeah, just want to give you a close up of her eyes. And how they're shining they actually have a glare to them um she literally like i said strips these dolls till there's nothing and then she brings their color back up and the the charm on her neck if i can dig it out she actually made with resin so it is an original piece literally and it is tangled in her hair oh no Oh no. But yeah, she actually made that. I feel like privileged because this was actually her hand handiwork was actually she was actually touching this and stuff and so forth. I know that's weird. 
but if you're a true collector of items like that again this is probably just as exciting to you as it is to me I am concerned about it being tangled up in her hair like that uh, trying to see to let it naturally untangle but the cloth she actually cut from some material that she had and it is glued on so there's nothing painted on if you have purchased a, a head like this for your little one you know that everything that I'm tugging on would usually be painted onto the doll itself so yeah I almost got it guys almost got it so you can get the full effect okay let's t twist it around there that's her in her glory and if you watched all three of the box openings now thank you so much I'm gonna spend a little time with this little beauty and get to know her then I'm gonna figure out a place to display her so that um, like I said little peaty paws won't get to it and I can enjoy her I thought about doing a display uh, seasonally with maybe some scarf material or what have you but all right guys that's that and we'll see you next time on kittens corner all right guys I know I said the video was over but I am sneaking right back on here to show you this because this is what came tucked in behind her and that was the picture also because now that I have her unhooked out of the box I get to show you the before and the after her eyes are brown kind of dark brown so it's kind of um, there but kind of meh and that's her with her hair down in fairness since that's the picture that I have and as you can see the jewelry is actually painted on and the dress is painted on as well and that's a suggestive hairstyle but again the jewelry is painted on and then this is her after she was painted again and I found this beautiful picture of her which is beautiful I think I'm going to sit it right beside her and display but on the back was a lovely card thanking me for it and oh my goodness no thank you but it also has her name on there that's what i want to show you <laughs> I, knew, uh, I got distracted i'm sorry that's her name and that is her ebay pay i'm sorry her ebay and her youtube pay actually look her up i guarantee you it's p-o-p-p-e-n alter alter -ler. i promise you you'll love her work all right guys Again, before and after. Bye. <laughs>